So here we are, we're gonna take a look at stable diffusion demo on our Meteor Lake prototype platform. And so as we can see, where they were actually using the application GIMP, which is the GMU image manipulation program. And so an open source alternative to Adobe, Adobe Photoshop. And we can see that we're actually taking in the text parameters that we have for generating a image. And so this one, we're actually taking a look at an astronaut riding a horse on the moon. We wanted to make it something that was a little bit difficult to conceptualize. And then we also have the negative prompts, things that we don't want to include, like low resolution uh, aspects of the image or something like monochrome. And so actually the good impor important part that we're seeing here is this is an open Vino plugin that we've designed around the GIMP platform. And the real item of this demo is that we're actually doing multiple targets across the MTL system. So not only do we have CPU, GPU, but of course our VPU platform to be able to have extremely low power inference on AI. So let's go ahead and run this inference setup. And as you can see, this is something where we'd want to run this for speed. We are taking completely a complete advantage of the entire platform as we go across so that we can really generate as many images as possible. And so we're going to see an end result and it really doesn't matter what type of artist that you are. We're actually looking at those individual catchphrases that are going to generate the image for us. And now in a quick 20 seconds or so, Oh, we have our amazing image of an astronaut riding a horse on the moon. And so we can actually even go into, as we address another layer, let me move on over here. And we're gonna take a look at another OpenVINO plugin, which is, let's go ahead and do super resolution. And so in this case, we're actually going to run the target is completely on the VPU system here. So once we've actually found an image that we like, now we can go ahead and run the inference workload and we want to, now we can free up all the rest of the resources on our Meteor Lake system here to be able to just run that on the VPU. And just like that, we're able to super sample that on our AI platform. So really an amazing example. And just another key point is this is all running local on the machine. There's no internet access that we have here. And so we're actually able to run this inference model privately accelerated on the client itself.